Hello, welcome back to Switched On. My name's Paul, and welcome back to our continuing Terraria series. This is episode six. Thanks very much for watching along, and thanks very much for all your comments as well. Very well received. Lots of great help, uh, particularly Draconis in the comments, who's uh, given me loads of good help, uh, hints, and tips. So, in this episode, we're going to meet our new NPC who is called Gus. And he is the merchant, and he moved in at the end of the last episode. Got this zombie here, we could take care of. He's fine. Um, we're going to meet Gus, and we're going to go exploring again, see what else we can find, and maybe put a fancy extension onto our house. Since been watching a lot of uh, house building videos, since we what I'm spending most of my time on at the moment is watching um, other people play Terraria, and then just be itching to play it myself. I'm really, really enjoying this game. Um, I know a lot of people. Um, some in the comments as well, but it's just generally people around the, the net are, are complaining a little bit about the price. But um, honestly, for the amount of game there is here, it's um, churlish to to complain about the price. But anyway, let's crack on. Let's meet Gus. So Gus is a merchant, and he will allow you to buy items. So chat to Gus. These are all his items. He's got some, um, some cool stuff here. Apparently, Gus appears when you've got five gold or five silver make five silver in your inventory so you can see that at the top we've got seven silver coins 74 bronze and looks like a gold coin as well so Gus is selling all this good stuff a lot of which I don't know exactly what um, what we might need it for at the moment sickle here sounds quite awesome a glow stick might be quite cool for when we're mining. I'm guessing it could uh, help us light up the mines. Rope and shuriken we've already got. So I think now the music's changed. Probably going to take a, a bit of a hike. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, be hitting the bottom of the tree. I was also conscious watching back some of the videos that um, I've put out so far is that you know, when it does get a little bit dark, I appreciate it's difficult to always see exactly what's going on. So I will try my best to either limit the nighttime gameplay or at least make sure um, that there's plenty of light around. Now we have been this way before, haven't we? And we've got kind of um, kind of stuck when we come up against some tougher enemies. Perhaps I should have crafted some... Oh, here those vultures. I just don't want to waste too much time inside when it's... Um, when it's nice and light out. We need to start mining as well, which is probably a, a good nighttime activity, as long as I can keep the, the lights lit. We can have a look. See if we can craft some cactus armour. Before we take on anybody else, let's have a look. Mm -mm. So it takes 20 cacti. How much cacti have we got? 21. Mm. So 10 for a sword. Cactus bathtub. Oh, that sounds so comfortable. Just going for a cactus bath. Um, I think we'll make the sword at least, and then maybe we'll um, maybe we'll head off, try and get some more cactus, so we can craft the armor. Let's have a look at this. Look at that bad boy. It's like an oath keeper. Ah, oh, get out of my way. So yeah, just collecting all this nonsense as we make our way to the vultures. Yeah, they're notable by their absence. They've made a run for it. Right, let's have some. This sand blob. Now, apparently, according to Draconis, if this is true, I don't know if all slimes are equal, but apparently, slimes won't harm you in the daylight. 
So yeah, off he goes on his merry way. As long as you avoid them, they won't particularly come and hunt you down. Vultures on the other hand, different kettle of fish. Different kettle of bird. Ah, cactus sword made short work of that one. Got good range on it as well, so. If I can get rid of this vulture, we've got a nice cactus farm here that we can, ah, can take advantage of. One more hit will do for Mr. Vulture. Slime coming this way. I mean you no harm, green slime. Uh, I'd rather if you didn't jump on me, that'd be awesome. Got another vulture. I'm going to end up falling out with this slime, so you go on your merry way. Oh, there's another slime coming out. I'm going to get trapped. Should I just put him out of his misery? Ah. Oh no. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. So apparently uh, a cactus sword doesn't hit the sand slimes. Or does it? Huh, no, it does. That's weird. Anyway. Yeah, I was uh, swinging at him and not making contact. Okay, so we've got vultures, slimes. I really, really do want to get past this bit, so I'm going to have to... Let's fill up on some energy. Let's get out of this dirty water. Okay. Ooh, we just about made that. 46 health. But... Make it we did. To work pretty quickly here to get this sand away. Don't particularly want to flood this cavern yet because down here we have pots. Pots are good. So that's a good finding pots. Got money in. Oh, some health back. Thank you very much. Oh, and a chest. Healing potion. So let's have a quick look in here. Hopefully that slime won't bother us. Climbing claws. Slide down walls combined with spike shoes. Awesome. Timbar. Good. Rope. Fine. Arrows. Potions. Oh, defense potion. That sounds good. Bottle and silver coin. Excellent. Now we're kind of filling up our inventory here, so maybe we're going to, if we do build that expansion to our house, maybe one of the first things we should be doing is building some sort of garage to uh, <laughs> to keep all this stuff in before we get really super confused and run out of space. Rope in the pot. It's kind of conscious of, um, sorry squirrel, but you are in a way, kind of conscious how far we are from home at the moment. Night time is going to be closing in. I guess um, you want to kind of start building additional houses and bases so you can sort of take these expeditions and then hole up for the night. So maybe in a future episode that could be what we do. But I think this has been a successful trip out. in the general grand scheme of things. Found some decent gear in the pots. I'm gonna hot foot it home now and um, what's this here? It looks shiny. Bit of tin ore, don't mind if I do. Running. Now what is this? Oh, goodness. Okay. Oof. Let's not 
You're very kind, Mr. Antelon. Take that. Feel the wrath of my cactusy sword. Right, I'm going to hot foot it home. Start work on our house extension. And still, um, I'm kind of probably not wanting to know too much, really, but um, kind of intrigued what other NPCs are going to move in and under what conditions. Hi, Asha. Oh, the heck is this? Meet me behind Asha's house in about three hours. I think I have something that finds you very appealing. Oh, goodness me. Eladon, welcome to the world. Mysterious cape, crimson cloak, kimono. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. Question for this episode is, uh, who is the mysterious Eladon? And what of these items should I be looking to buy? Obviously, five gold I haven't got. Fifty gold for Titan helmet. Goodness. Okay. Well, mysterious stranger. So, how much wood have we got is the next question, I guess. 90, okay. Let's get busy with the fizzy. Oh, we've got loads of cactus now, actually. Let me just go and, while I'm out there, building let me just grab some cactus armor cactus helmet breastplate okay we'll start at least with a helmet oh asher and eladon playing rock paper scissors that's pretty cool okay we're still gonna stick this in our armor slot i guess somewhere Ah, oh, what's this over here? There we go. Cactus helmet. Um, we've got enough for the breastplate. Should we go for the leggings as well? How much is that? 25. We've got 27 left. Go on then. We'll go for the full set. I think we get a bonus as well. Yeah, it's because we've got the full set of armor. Helmet, breastplate, leggings. And who's this dude? Norson. Another shop. Sells explosives. Awesome. Okay. Um, doesn't appear. Unless it's a separate setting. But um, yeah, I'm not seeing the armor on my character. Not a major problem, but um, I just from other videos I've seen, um, I've seen I've got, for some reason got armor boots on. But that's it. Strange. Right, we are building, and we are building out. I'm building out. Kind of a bigger sort of a room. I think I might stick a wooden platform here. Oh, that wasn't smart, was it? There we go, so we can get in and out of this tree housey kind of thing. Then a wood wall. I was told. Aha, indeed. So you just go to the precision cursor, hold down build and let it do it for you. Oh, I guess within reason. Or oh, I'll run out. Oh, I've run out. Okay, grab some more wood wall. Plenty of that, that's fine.
So I should save any more of those um, annoying little mistakes. Oh, he says, is it, uh, why is it built there? Right, where's my mallet? Oh, no. Right, where is... There we go. There we go. Just neaten that up. So, got a nice big room here. Let's stick in some light. Kind of would like a... I'm going to build a, a roof maybe, but... Yeah. Maybe in a future episode. Now, say we do need some kind of storage area. Now, I'm loving the idea of a basement. So, we may start work on a basement, actually. Do, 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 do. Also, need, I believe it's fence posts. Because I want a nice sort of a strut over that overhang. Let's see if we've got anything like that. I'm kind of fearful how big this inventory or this crafting thing is going to grow. Right, is that more people? Oh, it's still the, the bomb guy. Now then, I believe fencing is the key here for making struts, kind of, something like that. Liking that, and then how about a nice welcoming light outside as well, for no reason apart from it looks nice. So this is kind of the entrance to our house now, we've got kind of an overhang. Main entrance. And uh, we might as well finish this room off. I hope we've got enough wood. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum, so we need a table. One of them, and a chair. And we should have another room. I don't think I can jump up there, can I? No. Oh, that's a bit frustrating. In my cactus boots, look like a farmer. So, chair and table. I can go in there. I really do need to sort my inventory out, but that's fine. Table and chairs, so we can just check that. So X and right tab across to housing. Housing career this housing is suitable. So we've got Asher the Guide, Gus the Merchant, Norson the Demolitionist. Demolitionist. Oh god, it's too early to be pronouncing those words. Demolitionist. There you go. Um, so that's all good. So I guess the next step we're gonna go. Do, 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 do. Gonna go mining. Just I'm um, sorry for. Uh, I'm just wondering what this hot bar is. I'm still not sure if this is like all of the things you've recently crafted. Or well, it just jumps you to the. Uh, okay, maybe. Anyway, let's grab a load of torches. I think we're going to start work on a basement. I don't know if this is too early to be worrying about a basement and whether I should just be carrying on mining. Let's grab some platform. Platform, yeah, okay. So that jumps you to the crafting. So we have to keep scrolling for all the crafting. That's okay. Alright, let's grab a few, let's grab 20 platforms. Severe lack of zombies so far, that's quite strange. Don't know what's going on now, not complaining, but... Alright, let's make a little platform so we can work on this basement. underneath the house for a little bit. 
I do love a basement. Could also be like an awesome little escape hatch as well if we need it. So we're going to dig out a nice area. Oh, don't want to uh, go too close to the top soil because it's all going to collapse on us. Uh, okay, so lighting. I promised you guys I'd keep up with some lighting because I know it gets hard to see. But nobody just likes looking at a dark screen. So don't for zombies night off because all we've got at the moment is bunnies. Okay, that's not a bad start. So let's go down a touch. Oh god. It's got to be even. Let's come across this way. Decent enough size for a starter basement. Going to line it out with brick so it looks the business. Some stuff. Okay, I've noticed the uh, the time. We're coming up to 20 minutes. It's been uh, well. I put a question out on my community tab about how many videos I should put. So I'm a bit concerned. I was flooding the channel. You know, it's fine if you if you watch these videos or not, or if Terraria is your thing or not. Don't have to watch everything I put out, of course. Um. So yeah, if you want to have a quick look at the community tab, just let me know your thoughts about how many videos are being published but one suggestion I think it was from Draconis who said uh, perhaps an idea might be slightly longer videos at a slightly lesser frequency stick another light in here I mean, that'll do for now. We'll probably make something a little bit more elegant in terms of uh, a platform. We could build a staircase. We probably will build a staircase up to the entrance to the house. But yeah, let's have a look then. See if we can get some bridge block. Yeah, just going back to the sort of frequency, I was, I was kind of um, hoping to drop new Terraria videos every day. Seven o'clock UK time. I think I'll carry on doing that until um, if everybody's adamantly against it, then I'll, uh, I'll consider changing the frequency. But for now, I'm really enjoying the game. I just want to... Oh. Yeah, I just really want to be um, playing it a lot. Learning a lot as well, so keep those comments coming. Oh, that was a stone wall I built, wasn't it? Which is for the background. I need stone brick. Oh well, we've got a nice stone wall. We could probably uh, maybe line the back of the basement with stone wall. I don't know if there's any st uh, oh, stone block. Guess that's it. Let's 
Yeah, I'm gonna need some more stone, so we're gonna have to go mining again. But I'm just gonna try this and just see how it looks before we close this episode. Where's it gone? Where's the stone brick? There it is. Stone block. Hopefully, this is the right stuff. Hmm. Not sure if that is the right stuff. Ah. Well, the sun's coming up anyway. I will continue to put this stone block down. Yeah. We'll, do, we'll see. We'll, we'll put the stone block down and uh, see how that comes out. But um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Slightly longer episode there. And uh, we'll come back with episode seven. We'll finish this basement off. Probably go um, exploring the other direction underneath the house and probably build another floor to the house and maybe look at putting a roof on and must get um say this storage sorted out for all my gear so that'll be on the next episode but thanks for watching please subscribe if you like these videos and i'll catch you next time thanks a lot guys bye bye